This is the Agilite K19 plate carrier. Uh, this is exactly, this is the K19, this is the Agilite K19 plate carrier. Uh, currently it's pretty new, um, kind of hard to get hold of, uh, especially depending on what color uh, you're wanting it in. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite plate carriers that I've ever messed with. Um, I feel like it is a good option for most people. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I love about it and a few things that I'm not too super excited about it so i'll try to cover everything that it does everything that it kind of does and everything that i wish it could do uh which isn't a lot that it can't do uh, in this video um so anyways this is uh ranger green um these only come in one size uh it's a one size fits all um this is literally exactly how you'll get it this one's brand new uh I ran another one uh, for a while, um, and I got a hold of this one, um, so let you guys check it out. So I guess we'll start on the front. Um, the, uh, the plate pockets here, let me just rip open like this. There's a lot of Velcro here, and it's really strong. Um, they've got these uh, Velcro straps here that uh, help hold your plate in place. And they also uh, keep this uh, front flap down. These here. Uh, both plate pockets have this in them. As you can see, there's a lot of real estate on the Velcro there. Um, definitely uh, good on them for doing that. Uh, there's not any overhang at all. Like it said, it's nice and flush. Uh, pretty excited about that. Um, as far as the front plate uh, pocket goes, all molly, uh, Velcro, uh, vertical webbing here if you want to add some clips for your uh, placard. Got a zip admin pouch. This thing is really deep. I really like that. It's a nice uh, uh, slick material in there, nylon. Um, the, uh, shoulder straps. So these are one of the things I like a lot about this is that these things are really adjustable. Um, so first you've got the quick detach here, grab it, give it a yank and it rips off, right? Um, you can change those out, uh, with one or both of them, if you like, uh, with, the included uh, clips here. Um, I like these better. I switched them out. I put them back, put these back on so you guys could see. Um, I switched these out on the other one uh, because they're a little bit lower profile, which I like. And uh, in addition to that, it uh, shortens the strap by maybe an inch or two, which I like my straps really tight. Um, so the first point of adjustment here is right here. Goes on here. You can adjust up and down. If you want to take these off to replace them, literally all you do is pop that off and these things slide right off. So pretty cool there. Put this back together here. Um, just... Uh, point with these some part of the reason I don't really care for these rocker buckles aside from uh, 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 just maintaining a low profile uh, when, when I get in and out of my carrier I personally uh, I'll leave one side of the cummerbund open and I just thread in through there um, if I need to get out of it quick in this case I wouldn't be pulling these. I just ripped both of these off, but that's just me. Um, we've got some uh, cable routing here, which I, I like this a lot because it's got a, sorry, try to get that in frame. It's got a lot of space for you. 
really well put together. Uh, other point of adjustment, pull off here and adjust back here. It's really nice. Um, this tab, uh, I'll go over in a moment when we get to the back of the plate carrier. Um, super adjustable on the shoulders. Uh, I find a lot of plate carriers are very lacking on that. This one is not. Um, the padding on this thing, the first time you put this on, this is by far the most comfortable plate carrier I have ever wore in my life. Um, there's just padding all over the place. If I had to wear a carrier for 16 hours and I could take my pick, just loaded down with all kinds of weight, this would be it, definitely. Um, that being said, it's it's definitely meant to carry uh, carry a load. It's not uh, it, it's fairly low profile for what it is, but it's not going to be nearly as small as something like a, a JPC. Um, so, anyways, uh, it's got uh, really breathable mesh all the way around front plate pocket, back plate pocket. Uh, also got on the shoulder straps, uh, everything built in, outstanding. On the back here, uh, you got drag handle. This is Velcro down. Um, like I said, I, this is right off the rack, this one, so I haven't bothered taking any of that off. Uh, back here, the cummerbund attaches with uh, G-hooks, which is pretty cool. If you want it to be a little bit tighter, uh, like you, in my case, um, I need the smallest uh, setting on the cummerbund is actually not small enough for me. I can move these and relocate them here, which is really cool. Um, it has on the back this little uh, portion of Velcro along with this up here. Um, the AMAP pack uh, has a Velcro portion that Velcros here. And those tabs on the back that I mentioned here earlier, this is what hooks the top of the pack in. Uh, I will have a separate video on the AMAP pack. I absolutely love that one. Um, pretty much the whole reason I, I decided to check out uh, Agilite in general, but specifically this plate carrier in the pack was the way that the pack integrates uh, with the carrier. Um, anyways, I'll uh, put that in a different video. Um, something else I forgot to mention on the front and back, if you see the way the uh, shoulder straps have this V, they connect into the plate bag, uh, that helps with weight distribution, allegedly, I don't know, I can't tell, it's just, I know it's super comfortable, I don't know if it's from the padding or the way it fits, no idea, but I like it. Uh, Cummerbund, got the uh, skeletal version, uh, this is... Uh, pretty rigid i mean it's not it's not going to be as rigid if you know if it were a solid piece but pretty rigid you got your rocker buckles here uh which i like these um this carrier actually is my first uh, uh exposure i guess or uh, experience using these um, i'm used to having the flaps that fold under my uh my placard um, and I swore I would never use these just because I thought they were gimmicky. And after I tried them, I'm, I'm about to put these on all my carriers. I'm never going to go back. So anyways, get these a tug, pop right out. Uh, th like I said, this is how I run mine. I leave one open, just kind of weave myself in here. And then they pop right back in. Real easy. One of my favorite parts about this carrier is the cummerbund. If I could have this cummerbund on every plate carry that I own, I absolutely would. I wish Agilite would sell this cummerbund by itself. I would absolutely buy it. So first cool thing that I love, it's got a little bit of elastic right here so you can breathe. Um, I cinched my stuff down pretty tight all the way around, um, and that's one of the issues that I have. I normally don't run uh, Molly Cummerbunds. Um, I like straight elastic, and that's exactly why. This is a game changer for me, just that little piece of elastic. 
Uh, the other thing that I love about this, which is another complaint that I had with uh, non-elastic cummerbunds, is if I put it on, I've got a the camera back here. If I've got it on and I need it to be bigger or smaller, I have to redo everything. This is great. Like go all the way big and I've got all this extra here. And if I, I get it on and for me, just cinch this thing down super tight and leave this hanging if you want to uh, strap it on here. Again, this is exactly how it comes uh, from the factory. So these are just hanging. Um, and yeah, this super adjustable. I mean, this covers a lot of ground without having five or six different sizes of uh, uh, options. Um, lastly, I think I've hit everything, all the highlights. Uh, you got uh, plenty of routing here. Um, and already went over these. Uh, yeah, pretty awesome. So, things that I like about it. This is definitely a one-stop shop for pretty much, if you want an all-around do-everything carrier, this is it. Um, again, most comfortable carrier I've ever put on. Uh, I've ran it for a couple hours, the other one, uh, a couple hours at a time um, with plates in it and so forth. Uh, not super loaded down because I don't run really heavy, but it, you know, it's, it's extremely, extremely comfortable. Um, the things that I don't like about it, and this is actually why this will not be my main plate carrier. Uh, I wear eight by 10 plates. I'm a relatively small guy. I'm 5'8", and currently maybe like 160, 165 pounds. Um, I like my stuff small. This being a one size fits all carrier, it's too big for me. Even with everything cinched down, it's still too big. So my plates slosh around in here. I rigged, uh, rigged it up with Velcro so that my plates stay where they need to be. Uh, but there's, there's just too much extra here. It's just, it's too much. Um, even with the shoulder straps all the way tightened down, uh, they're a little bit too long, but not a big deal. Um, and again, this, this part's fixable. With this cinched down all the way uh, on the smallest setting here, this is a little bit too big. I mean, it's, it's kind of on the, on the borderline. So these get moved back here so I can uh, have more adjustability. So that, that's not really an issue. Um, the other thing is, uh, I, I don't have a need for these. I, for on the shoulders, like I said, but you can switch that out so it's not a big deal. Um, my carrier that I like, I normally run a Scarab or a JPC. Um, I like small carriers. I'm not putting, you know, 80 pounds of gear on this thing. I don't need a, a really rigid, uh, super padded carrier system. Um, with this being super padded, if I was wanting to run something super heavy, this would be it by far, uh, but that's not the case. Um, what I did uh, whenever I was on a team and everything else, um, I ran most of my duty gear, well, all of my duty gear on my belt, and then I had uh, limited stuff on my carrier. Um, and I still run my, uh, my carriers the same way. Um, if you wanted, for example, a to leave everything on your carrier, all your gear uh, on your plaque, or you got mags, you know, bangs on the back, whatever you want to do, um, this would definitely be my suggestion just because it holds everything so well right out of the box without having to tweak it a lot. Uh, for me personally, as a small guy um, wearing small plates, I wish that more companies would make plate carriers in small. I, I hate this one size fits all thing because it's not truly one size fits all. It's one size fits medium and large. It doesn't fit smaller frames. Um, so anyways, that's the end of my rant with that. Uh, Agilite, everybody make small plate carriers. Please, please, please help me out here. 
Um, currently, this carrier is going for about, uh, I think it's $280 on Agilite's website. You can find it for $250 on other sites. You may have to wait, though. Uh, when I ordered the Ranger Green one here, I, <laughs> I was waiting for it for, I think, almost three months. Um, and a buddy of mine ordered it in a different color. Uh, like a month after I, I ordered mine and he got his in like two weeks. So it, it's kind of hit or miss. I mean, that's, that's whatever. It's a popular carrier right now. Um, anyways, long story short, unless you're wearing size small plates and you're a small guy or whatever, you will not be disappointed with this. Um, even though it's still a little bit big for my taste, I'm still very happy with it. Uh, I definitely... Uh, don't regret spending the money on it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's got my recommendation for sure.